Hello. In my previous video, I was explaining uh, how to get uh, table header uh, columns using uh, uh, first uh, uh, table transformer model to detect the table and second to uh, use, uh, uh, again, table transformer model to detect structure of the table and specifically to detect the headers. In this video, I'll show the example and actual code is already on the GitHub. Uh, in, inside Sparrow Parse library, you can check it out and uh, run uh, run by yourself as well. Um, uh, but the code is still in active uh, development mode, and I'll be adding more features to make it more uh, resilient and uh, to be able to handle different uh, uh, layouts of the tables out of the box. But in any case, it already works, uh, say, for simpler tables, and. This is the example uh, invoice items table. We have four rows and uh, multiple columns. And then when we run a table transformer model with, uh, within Sparrow parse, we get cells. And uh, then each cell uh, coordinates, uh, we get coordinates for each cell. And then within this box, we run OCR. So for each cell, we run uh, OCR each time basically so as many cells you have as many times OCR will be invoked and this way we transform uh, this raw image of the table and structured data into the structured data uh, into JSON which we can save to database and send for the further for the processing right and uh, yeah, so within Sparrow Parse, what we do is uh, not just directly using only a table transformer model to calculate cells. Uh, we also uh, implement a custom algorithm to, uh, to try to fix errors from the table transformer because sometimes it may have produced the overlaps between columns or uh, like may, two columns may uh, split actual value and we fix those uh, cases and uh, we fix columns to be properly aligned and also now working on improving uh, row handling because also quite often for mo slightly more complex table layouts and uh, table transformer uh, structure may be produced uh, not uh, accurate, not correct per row, and we're trying to improve uh, with the post-processing uh, logic, we're trying to improve table transformer results. So this is important to say that Sparrow Parse is not just like a wrapper uh, library uh, for the table transformer model. We are also implementing our own logic to improve the result that you get from the table transformer. And this is the outcome of the sample invocation. So we process uh, cells here. Then we first we uh, check the header, get the header information, and then we construct the cells for the table itself. And here we get four rows. And then this is the output uh, after uh, running OCR per each cell. Uh, and cell is uh, detected using coordinates uh, firstly obtained from the table transformer and then improved or uh, cleared up by Sparrow Parse logic. And uh, if we compare the result with actual uh, table over here, we can see that results are 100% correct for this table and I was testing with private data. It also works very well. There are some issues with more uh, complex table layouts, but um, I'm working to fix that and uh, hopefully we'll push the improvements uh, soon. But for the simpler or medium complexity tables, it already works uh, quite well. So as you can see, we get descriptions here, then we get uh, numeric values and uh, yeah, for each row and we Print it out over here as a result. So that's quite good. And if you look back into the code for the process table structure, we can see that we are uh, filtering out table spanning cell and table inform ta ta table element from the transform ta from the result that we get from the table transformer model, and also filtering out uh, uh, elements with the low uh, probability because most of the time the elements with the low probability just create noise and not 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 useful in most of the cases based on my, my testing then we merge overlapping columns 
this already done, and I'm working now to adjust overlapping rows uh, to implementing this algorithm. This is work in progress. All right, then we visualize the results, and then here we extract the uh, header information, and once this is done, we work uh, to calculate table cell coordinates, we get table cells, and in a similar logic we also call the same function like for the header, we call do serve with coordinates, the same like here where we get the header text. So we pass uh, table cells and then in a loop uh, we go through each cell, get uh, box coordinates, execute OCR and construct the array of the result set and then we get the table data here. And yeah, and then for the debugging purposes, we visualize this uh, uh, result or cells uh, in the image, like here. Uh, yeah, so the main logic happens uh, in do serve with coordinates function. If you go to the function, then you can see that we apply OCR based on cropped image based on the coordinates and then we construct the array of uh, result per each row and return it back uh, to the original function uh, where this function was invoked it's over here so thanks for watching and uh, you can um, basically clone uh, Sparrow project and the code that I'm explaining in this video is located in uh, Sparrow uh, Sp uh, Sparrow data parse uh, folder uh, under the Sparrow parse directory and then to run the code you can simply you need to install the requirements as uh, requirements are specified over here uh, instructions how to install requirements you'll find on the github and once you get all the requirements run python table structure script and uh, you get uh, back the result. Later, once I'm done with the algorithm in, inside this uh, script, uh, then I'll uh, create uh, integration uh, with the main Sparrow project where uh, uh, the, this library will be automatically invoked from the agent, uh, LLM agent running inside Sparrow. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.